But back in 1999, that was my first foray into music or music management by King Guasio Ainde, K1 The Ultimate. I'll tell you a funny story because I told Guasio that I'm going to be recording for, for the future. I'm going to be recording everything that we're doing in the studio. And he was okay. He gave me a lot of access. Anyway, so there was one day we had recorded, I think we were recording, it was this statement, and we had recorded like seven songs, but there was still space, because back then we were recording for cassette. So there was still space for one more song, and Wasu thought we had finished. So he had gone out, and when he came back to the studio just to listen to the playback, they now had to tell him that he has to do one more song. He was like, oh, man. I can let go. He actually said he didn't want to do it. But what happened was two of the band members, Shola and Joel, they had been playing something like a gospel sound, a gospel beat, before Wasu came in. So we thought, okay, we have a beat, so Wasu only need to sing on it. And then he heard the beat and he was like, oh, man. He was even saying maybe we should just cut one of the songs that we had before or, you know, sort of like make it a long play so that we can fill up the cassette. <laughs> but, you know, Percy was like, I know Percy was very good with Wasu because he was trying to convince Wasu to do the song, but he did not want to compromise. So basically, what we ended up doing was he agreed to do the song. So they now sat down together and they was like they were writing the the lyrics and everything. By the time he had written something tangible for him to go into the studio, he had already sat back into the chair. And he said he didn't want to get up. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Point of no return that he did. <laughs> and he said the only way he's going to do this song is if they wheel him in on the chair into the studio. And I thought he was joking. Well, maybe he was joking, but everybody was kind of like, you don't, we didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> but that was what happened in the end. Like, Percy was like, okay, if that's what you want, then we'll wheel you into the studio and you will do the song, right? And he said, yes. And that's what they did. They wheeled him into the studio. In fact, I had the camera. I was filming everything. And I followed him from, like, you know, the, the control room through the little alleyway around to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> By the time we got into the studio and we set him up, he, he was laughing and I was laughing. <laughs> and from there, I learned how to deal with artists. Wasu is the biggest artist I've ever managed. Well, yeah, Wasu is the biggest artist I've ever managed, even more than... LD, the band Don Jazzy, or even Akon, was seen like a king of Fuji music. And later, when we talked about it, after we did the song and everything, he looked at me and he said, Ayoba means life of a king. <laughs>